What was the winter solstice? It's the winter solstice. Sol solstice. It solstice. 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 You got it. It's that magical time, midwinter and midsummer, when the sun seems to stand still. To the eye, it appears to stop moving along the horizon. Well, you're not meant to look at it, are you? Because it hurts uh, your eyes. You can look at it when it rises, and you can look at it when it sets. Then you can. No, you often... can't. It makes you go blind. You can. Billy, trust you me, can't. you can't. That's probably why you've got glasses. For most people, it wasn't really Christmas until the birth of Jesus Christ, an icon who was almost as revered back then as Beyonce is today. Why do you think it's important that Jesus was born? Would it have been more interesting if he'd have been built like R2-D2? It would have been more interesting, but the important thing is that he can identify with us and he was a real human being. It makes him more sort of relatable. I yes, suppose. very much so. But then if he's, he's meant to be like an ordinary bloke and he wanted to come across as an ordinary bloke, how come he had all like angels and kings at his stable on his birthday. Well, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? Mm. Although, of course, I would want to say that angels are around all the time. Um, you don't necessarily see them there and then, but sometimes you catch a glimpse of something out of the corner of your eye, or maybe you smell a, a nice fragrance. Vanilla? Maybe. How many three wise men were there? Who knows? Oh. And I think only one of the Gospels refers to there being three. But it's just three is a good number, isn't yeah. it? It looks good. So, but there could have actually been 15 three wise men. Quite possibly, yes. It's humbling to think that Jesus started out with nothing, born not in a palace, but in a stable, just the ordinary son of an ordinary woman and an ordinary man, and God Almighty.